What's up, agents? Jet Forth here, and first, I'll let me apologize for not posting for the past couple of days, but that is because my brother got married. I know, selfish, right? Anyways, enough of that. So to answer this age-old question that has been going on for the past month, month and a half is, what should we do with our gear and our stash? Should we keep it? Should we delete it? <laughs> what do we do? Well, to answer that question, yes, you can deconstruct and sell pretty much everything in your stash, except for your mods. Keep your mods. Now before you leave the video and hit the thumbs up button, go all willy-nilly deleting and whatever everything in your stash, let me tell you exactly what is going on. Good old Frederick has come out on Twitter and said on Monday that there are going to be two libraries. So if you are new to the game or just need a refresher or possibly live under a rock and don't know what's going on, the new library system will allow you to extract talents and attributes off of your gear. Once you have extracted said talents and said attributes off of this gear, it goes into your library, then you are allowed to roll those onto any new pieces of gear as much as you want to your heart's content. Limitless re-rolling of god rolls of whatever you extract. So now, with there being two different libraries, the first library will be from level 1 to level 30. The second library will be from level 31 to level 40. So basically anything in your level 30 library cannot be rolled over onto a 31 and up piece of gear. They're making it so you can't cheat the system. So if you go to another character, you have to level up your other character up to 40 to be able to swap gear back and forth and whatnot. But however, by putting this into place, that has rendered all of our 500 gear useless because all of the gear that we have now is level 30. So yeah, at this point, everything in your stash is just credits and crafting materials. Deconstruct it, sell it, do whatever you gotta do. Now I would keep some of that gear to play around with so you have a build going into New York. Like for me, I'm probably just gonna hang on to some of my hardwired stuff so I can make a quick skill build to run in there. If the New York story mode is going to be anything like the rest of the story modes in DC and whatnot, I would imagine it's going to be pretty easy because the game will make you play it on story mode first, which is really easy before you can put it on challenging, hard, whatever, however all the new stuff is coming, heroics and legendary and all that shenanigans. But I will talk more about building and stuff like that maybe on Thursday. We will see what happens. But other than that, that's pretty much it for that. I guess. When it comes to exotics, we are going to have to refarm all of them. And from what I'm understanding with Merciless and the Sweet Dreams is those are not being brought up into level 40. Those are going to sit at level 30 for a while because they want us to go after the new exotics, I guess, and use something else. However, any of the weapons that can be crafted like the Nemesis and Chatterbox and all of those, if you have all the exotic pieces for those, once you hit level 40, you can craft those and they will be at level level 40. It's interesting how they're doing this. I really don't understand why Merciless and Sweet Dreams aren't being brought up because with those they have skins that we technically paid for. So a rendering those useless for a while is kind of strange to me. I do not know why they are doing that. Do not shoot the messenger. I didn't make the game and I didn't make the decisions. Anyways, with all of this, I wish they would have told us all of this a lot sooner because we would have been playing the game different and preparing differently instead of waiting eight days, seven days now until Warlords of New York releases. So yeah. No point to hanging on to any caches, no point to hanging on to really anything except for what build you are going to use when you drop into New York. But seriously though, they shouldn't have been saying for the past two months that 500 gear is going to be very powerful, it's very important, don't delete it, hang on to it, all this, that, and a wiffle ball, baseball, bat. And that's it, I have spoken my piece. But either way, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about all of this. I don't know, is what it is to me, I guess. We were gonna have to regrind everything anyways for the whole new system. Hit the old like button for me if you could, and that would be a super awesome. Subscribe and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace!